Yo, what is going on boys? Asian Sensation back with another banger. Today's episode, we are using the triple stall threat loadout, baby. Ninja, Ice, and Glue. We're gonna be able to make Moabs in eighth speed. Let's see how well this thing does late game. Make sure you subscribe and let's get it. What is this name, bro? What? <laughs> Chill? All right, well, we are, like I said, we're gonna try this triple stall out, so good. <laughs> I'm not even going to say good luck. This guy don't deserve no good luck. Bruh. And he's anti-stalling. That's <laughs> really unlucky. Okay. So if we're if he has NG, this is not going to go well. Please, every time I say that, they always have NG. But maybe he's going like Wizz Farm Tack or something. That would be nice. I'm just going to start off with a nice here. Can we catch that red bloom? No, we can't. What is that? What? He's got an eco strat. It's eco v eco. I don't really understand the tack placement, though. He's mad because bad over there. He might just surrender here. Won't surprise me. Are we recording? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right, we're vibing. Let's get the permafrost rolling. That is the weirdest tack spot I think I've ever seen. Um, It's interesting. So it's definitely interesting. We'll see how, how it does for them, but... I guess I can go for double ice soon. I'll just do it on round four. He's probably got Tack Ninja Village. He could have... I don't know what else he could have. It's definitely an Eco Strat. Probably has Village in there somewhere. Maybe a Sniper Loadout. I could see that as well. But these rounds are going to be pretty long. This, this will be a fun one. I've actually never used Ninja Ice Glue. Or at least it's been years since I have. I don't, I don't know. We're going to go for double ice here because he wants to try to send me pinks. Not nah, cool, man. Too bad it doesn't do anything because I got very nice alternating ice timings as I leak five lives. It's fine though. That's fine. So his blade shooter is holding off. It's it's holding off the blue balloons. Blue balloons getting nowhere. So well done, I suppose. Now what's my defense gonna look like around eleven through thirteen? Because round eleven, obviously you're gonna have a lot of white balloons and ice ain't gonna do anything against that. So you gotta have to, we're gonna have to go for a glue and flash bomb. That's gonna have to be our play. Should be an interesting one. But our double ice is doing really well for now. Really shows how strong ice at, ice is as a tower. I think they need to nerf ice in some way. I don't know the best way. I think maybe you could keep increasing shards price. But honestly, like I think the main issue with ice is how good it is with village. I think the ice village combo is just cracked out of its mind. But he's, he's getting a few lives on me. I don't really care. I mean, he's, he slows down his eco a little bit. Like, I'm pulling away an eco. Does that tack really solo greens? Okay. I gotta try this tack spot out, bro. It's kind of cracked. It's kind of cracked. All right, I'm just gonna full cube blocks now because I'm gonna start saving up for my glue gunner. So I'm gonna get the glue gunner. We'll get the glue gunner like right over... Over here is fine. And we'll get up a glue splatty splat. And now I guess I can save up for a big round eight rush. What do we think? I guess we can. Let's do it. Let's see what happens. My double ice might get offset here. He has mortar. Okay. Mortar. Interesting. Pro oh, it's got to be ninja as his last. 100% ninja. This will be a fun one. This will be a fun matchup. I mean, we have a massive advantage if we can get to the late game. But it's much easier said than done much easier said than done i don't think oh shoot my ice got offset uh do i have to burn spikes here are we good i probably want to slow down the regions huh are we good double ice going in going beast mode right now i am leaking a lot though all right we get the glue hose holy he's selling to all out me here it looks like are we good barely we're barely good here we are barely good and like I said, this is going to be our flash bomb, so we're getting that up. Should be fine against any rush he sends us. If he balloon boosts at us, I mean, we can tower boost, I feel like, and it's fine. Maybe I placed my glue too low. I'm not sure. Well, let's just get the flash bomb going. Keep him on first. It's fine. He might send me some sort of uh, camo rush right here. Wouldn't surprise me. So we have to get ready for that. I'm just going to get down a second ninja for that reason. And he's definitely saving up for a rush, so we have to get ready. Want that on strong. Let's see if he rushes here. He definitely is saving up for something. I don't have to play high eco here. Like, we have such a big advantage. And he's obviously saving up for some sort of rush. So, yep, here it comes. 
we're just good here. I'll rush him, I guess. So all my balloons are hidden under the AI. So I don't think he's going to be able to defend that, right? Or is he good? All right, we should be fine here, right? Do I need to boost? I have to boost that every time. Holy, we almost just died right there. Okay, so how do I defend a rerush? Hmm. Chipper! How do I defend a rerush here? I guess I can go for a jitsu. Let's go for a jitsu here. This is interesting. Um, are we good against these camos? I can almost afford a glue striker. Do we need that? No way, I'm $2 off, bro. $2 off, my guy? That's unlucky. Alright, let's go ahead and send this. What does he do here? Does he afford Maelstrom? Dude, this is the wildest game ever. Oh, he sold his camo protection. Oh, he's going for a chipper? Dude, what is this game? This is the weirdest game I think I've ever played. I don't know how to... <laughs> I'm at a loss for words. That's, that's all I'm going to say, bro. I'm at a loss for words. I don't really know what's going on right now, to be honest with you. Like, this is just so strange. I mean, we have glue ability if we need it here. I mean, 893 eco, it could be a lot worse. Is he sending a Moab or what? Probably a Moab with cam girl leads, which is super expensive over the top. No, just, yeah, there is. So this is when we just use our glue thing. We just glue those cam grow leads and this should handle very easily. In theory, at least. Yeah, we're vibing. Okay, I'd probably just send a BF Bezel around 20. I don't really know how his, what his plan is. Does he get a super wide funnel? He probably does actually. I think he's just gonna be forced to aggro. But like I said, I don't really need a high eco to win this matchup. And keeping up this glue striker, low key kind of a decent idea, I feel like. Because it gives us full protection against any Camgro lead rush. And Camgro leads are so expensive. Oh, yeah, super wide funnel. I don't want to even bother rushing that. But he probably rushes me, right? I would think so. His defense is going to get overwhelmed here, though. I'm actually going to say see ya. I'm trying to help him out. Like, you need a lot more defense than this, bro. Okay. Um, Just go for glue shards. Glue shards? Ice shards. And... Should be somewhat okay here. Should that just solo here? I think so. I think this just solos. We got the re the glue reapplied. Yeah, dude. This combo is pretty cracked, man. Really nice. And the really good part about my loaded is I can always just stall and counter. So if he does randomly all at me, I can freaking eight times stall that thing if I want. I can ice stall with absolute zero. He's done AI. I can uh, absolute zero. Wait, I already said that. I can glue strike ability. I can sabotage supply lines. Like we have so many outs for those specific situations. It's really nice. Okay, round 22 is here. He's actually gonna struggle a lot right here. Oh, he gets the Roth. He should be fine. Assuming his chipper can eat all those ceramics. So we just sold a couple things. Probably just sending me his, oh my God. I think he realizes like, hey, this late game's not looking too favorable for me. So I'm going to send his, oh my God, that's my guess is what's happening here. I'm going to try to build up a massive ice um, ice thingy here. It's like a super sweaty play. I'm trying to build up a bunch of balloons in there so I can get an ice shards there. That's just going to eat against this, oh my God, layer. But I don't think it's working very well. <laughs> we'll see. He's not ecoing, so he's obviously saving up for some sort of rush, right? We can. I think that's safe to assume. So I don't, I don't need to go crazy with the eco right now. Like I said, we have such a big advantage when if this goes late, so it doesn't really matter. I don't think using a Sabo is necessarily needed. And right, here comes the rush. So we'll just go like this. And we will go ahead and absolute zero that. And this guy's putting in work now. Watch my ice shards go, bro. He about to eat. He about to eat. Go, ice shards, go. Go, ice shards, go. Yeah, he's like actually beast moding against that thing. He'll probably send me another one, though. Probably gonna have to face another one. Oh, these are his Moabs. I thought those were AI Moabs. What are you doing? Why are you sending me Moabs? <laughs> you bozo. Moabs ain't gonna do anything. He's dead to AI. GG's. And we'll go next. 
That's a classic moment where he's just staring at my side of the screen and not realizing like, hey, I'm screwed. But GG's to, to that guy. <laughs> GG's, bro. Guess that was well played, kind of. I don't know. We just had such a big late game advantage on him. Kind of unfortunate matchup on his end. All right. Dude, what are up with what is up with our opponent's names, bro? That's weird. All right, this guy has a modded record. We're going to rock our loadout once again, obviously. I'm not going to say good luck cuz I think his name's offensive, but good luck have fun to myself. Okay. Let's see what Mr. Opponent here is going to bring. My guess is... Okay, we have farms. So, different than the last matchup already. Love to see that. Could start with a glue splatter, but I think ice is just the best start here, for sure. No doubt. Hunter P, no doubt. So, let's get that up. Snap freeze. He's going to thumbs down me in like three seconds, probably. Because he sees I'm going in eco strat. No thumbs down? Okay. The farm players hate eco players, but... I'm just trying to get content, mix it up, try some eight time stalls. Like I low-key feel like he's going ice, probably heli farm ice. Ooh, if it's ninja farm ice, this will be a interesting game and that's nah, great for us. That would really spice things up, but it's likely heli farm ice. Slim chance it's like whiz farm ice, but highly unlikely. I don't really see any other strat you could have here other than the ones I already mentioned. I think ninja farm ice could be could be what we're up against, though, and that's going to be a tough matchup. It's going to be a tough matchup. Basically, as soon as, if he goes for, like, a BIA, I'm going to have to force BIA sell, I think, or try to with, like, some cam girl leads, maybe. It's really expensive, though, and it's going to hurt me as an eco player. Okay, he gets a round, end of round three plantation. That's so strong. He's not sending me pinks, though, so we're vibing. I'm surprised no pinks. Got their double ice set up. There's the pinks. All right, we have a double ice. That should shoot pretty well together for the most part. I expect him to just max Q. Okay, our ice isn't as good as the last time. Okay, stop sending. Why would you ever stop sending here? There's no reason to stop sending. I guess there is because it can break my double ice up. That is fair. Um, so that makes sense. But I think they're still shooting at alternating times. I don't know. He probably has Heli Farm Ice, though. If he has Ninja Farm Ice... No! Shoot! It's Darling Farm Ice for sure. It's Darling Farm Ice for sure. Oh, we just lose to Darling Farm Ice late game. I have to play aggro if he has Darling Farm Ice. Ooh, I did not think about that, bro. I'm just gonna go for uh, Ninja here, actually. Ninja for some cleanup. Oh, two plantations around six is so strong, man. Oh, it's definitely Dartling, dude. This is a tough one. Just real Dartling Farm Ice can defend until like round into the round 60s. You heard that correct. Because of how strong like a billion Ray of Dooms are. So if this guy gets a nice BIA spam off, we are in for some trouble. We are in for some trouble. So I have to basically just make it so we can't farm hard, but at the same time not drain myself. So it's, it's yeah, this is really tough here. Okay, I really wish I had sniper here. I I just I this is really 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 tough. Okay, let's see if his double ice can solo these yellows though. Maybe we'll get a cheeky win right here. Or force of three plantations round eight is absurd. That should be illegal. That should be illegal. Just gonna keep sending these kind of weird rushes, trying to get the whites through. I think it's kind of working. Yeah, I, I already over eco. I can't do anything here. This is a tough one, lads. We are in for quite the game, boys, because he's gonna get like a round 13 BIA, and there's not a whole lot I can do to stop that, unfortunately. I guess we could send a region letter too. I mean, I'm kind of desperate at this point. I have to go crazy aggro. All right, let's get the glue splatter and we'll rush him here. All right, we go for this. Oh, well, <laughs> well, boys, quite the quite the game here. 
I have to, I over eco, but like I, I'm kind of desperate at this point, you know? We are quite desperate at this point. So there's the flash bomb. If you all out of me right now, we'd probably die, but that's fine because he already just out leak him just like crazy. Not a whole lot we can do here. Very unfortunate matchup. <laughs> so I'm just rushing, trying to deny his BIA, but my eco's good. Don't get me wrong, but like his farms, the pace he's at farm wise are is way too strong. Like there's literally no way he doesn't get a BIA this round. So, and I know he has a good amount of cash built up. I'm just going to space Eco and then slowly send him a massive Zebra Rush for around, as soon as he goes for his BIA, basically, to try to get a boost. Yeah, we have to try to get a boost here. It's really our only play. So I think the best rush to send here is one set of region rainbows and have that region like crazy. Get a boost. That definitely baits boost, right? No, he's good. Or is he dead? It's always hard to tell the darting lag, bro. Oh, he boosted. So he was leaking a lot. He just leaked. Okay, this is good. This is good. This is winnable. This is winnable. So now I really have to force cash out here. I'm just going to send him a massive rush with some camos in there. He goes for, wow, a laser cannon. Okay, we forced cash out though, 100%. We did force him to cash out his BIA, but I'm still in a really tough spot here. And I likely have to glue strike this. What's in there? Never mind. That's just a really weird rush. That did nothing. Nice rush, dude. I send him a Moab here every time. I have to send him a Moab here. Like I said, I have to play aggro because I stand zero chance late game. I, I, you guys need to understand that. I stand zero chance late game. Oh, I should have balloon boosted. Does he defend this? He probably defends this. It's so weird with the darling lag. My eco is really, really good though. Like I, I still have a great eco despite being extremely aggressive. So this is still winnable, but it's not a lot of fun. <laughs> I don't, I, I don't know how to explain it, bro. I need to slow my eco down because I, I have to, I have to send him. Oh my god, round twenty-two, I think. I have to send him a BFB round 20. I just have to keep forcing him to either cash out his BIA or just get up a butt ton of defense. And so, oh my God, drain Darling Farm has a decent amount. So as long as he does, like, not drain a decent amount, but it forces a lot of defense. It does force a lot of defense. So I'm going to send him this. And he's probably going to send me one. But having double stall here is really nice for us. I encourage him to send me one. I don't think he will rush me. He knows he has the late game advantage. He has no reason to play aggro against me. He's zero reason to play aggro against me. He just plays this passive. But we'll see how it goes for them. Because honestly, like, I don't hate our position right now. He's going to have a juicy Ice Shards pop right here. Watch this. Oh, he's waiting to make it Moabs to use his... No, he's using it now. But that should just... Has he popped a BFB yet? I don't know. We're doing fine. This is... Is he fine right now? What is happening? He's gonna need an Arctic Wind. Is he planning on boosting? Does he have all his boosts as well? No, he, he tower boosted. I think he has two boosts still though. Okay, I'm gonna start saving up for his Oh My God now. I I think I just have to. I think I lose what, 300 eco for his Oh My God? Something like that? Is he good here? I refuse to believe he's just fine here. It must be screen like. No, he's targeting his Darling Savada. He's dead, right? What is he doing? Dude, screen leg is stupid. He defended, obviously, but like... Screen lag, stupid. So he has double BIA, but I might be able to force sell with this. Also, how much eco did I just lose? Dang it. Wasn't paying attention. He's ecoing against me, bro. He's literally just ecoing. He's like, man, I'll take this late. I forgot to bloom boost again. I forgot. Ah. He's shocked I'm sending this, bro. I have to. I literally have such a big disadvantage. I have to send this. Because this way, I just nerf his farms a fair amount. So we ice stalled it and now he's going for Dartling spam. But like I said, this forces so much defense, forces him to spam like a billion Dartlings. After that, it forces him to get up an Arctic win at the bottom. Const he's going to have to ice stall it twice, at least twice, because the ice stall only affects two layers. So it's going to affect the Zomai God layer and the BFB layer. But as soon as it gets popped to Moab, he's going to have to stall it again. If he wants to be half speed, that is. So we'll see how this goes for them. 
I'm just ecoing right now. I guess I should just full eco. But, I mean, I'm under defending like crazy. Like, if he randomly all outed me, I do have time to defend it, is the thing. Because I can make it an eighth speed, bro. If I ice stall it, have it glued, and sabo it. Like, that's kind of crazy to say, but that's that's true. So my eco is obviously not super, super good. So there it is. See, look, he has to ice stall again. And probably another time. I think he's dead, actually. Yeah, he's dead to that. Even on boost, boost defense. I don't know. Boost, I guess, defense. His farms aren't amazing, though. That's the good thing. He has three BIAs, but like we nerfed his farms as well as we could have. So I, I don't hate my execution this game at all. I don't think I would have changed many things. I really don't. Um... And yeah, I don't I don't think his farms are good enough to make it so he can easily defend like round 32 plus Zo oh my god type rushes. Because he's not gonna be able to get a billion ray of dooms. But he is ecoing hard here, so maybe he will. I don't know, bro. This is a weird spot. It's a weird spot. I don't really know what else to say. It's just a weird spot. No rushes I can really send him right now that are worth sending. And he's thinking the same thing. He's like, why would I ever rush him? So this is a bit tough. Hmm. We have Moabs coming this round. So I'll get up a couple Jitsus and call it good there. I don't know if this guy ever rushes me. I legit think he's just going to put the ball in my court and make me rush him. Which I'm okay doing, but... I don't really know when I'm supposed to stop equaling. Like around 30... Should I stop equaling like around 34? Or is that way too late? I don't I don't know. Guess I should go for another Bloom Jitsu. See, I really wish I had Ninja Ice Village here. Because we could defend way later than with Ninja Ice. Actually, I can stall better with this. But I, I haven't really used this strategy enough late game to know how strong it's really going to be. The nice thing is we have twice as many... Or three times... As many stalls as or okay yeah we have three times as many stalls as him he just has ice we have ice ninja and glue for stalls really nice I'm trying to think if there's any sneaky like camera rushes i could send and there might be but the problem is all he has to do to defend against it is get up a viral frost so all he has to do is click one button to upgrade his arctic wind to a viral frost and that's going to just decamo it and he's going to clean it up nicely so that's there's no real point in sending him plus camels are just expensive in general so Bit unfortunate. Bit unfortunate. Okay. How many BIAs does he have? Four, seven? Seven BIAs. He might not. Like I said, I just don't think he ever rushes me. Um, Is it worth sending him a buff to Zoma oh God right now? I mean, Zoma oh Gods are stronger than they were before. Like, ramping starts around 30. I could send him like around 32 one. Because, uh, I mean, what defense does that force, though? I don't know if that's the play. Are his farms good enough to defend a massive rush, bro? I'm going to stop egoing here. I am I think I just try. I don't. The later it goes, the worse off I am, I think. It's hard to say, man. Like I said, not experienced in this matchup. But, like, I feel like the longer he has BIAs up, the worse off we are. So I think my plan is... I'm going to start my rush like round 33. It might be too early, but... Not round 33. Probably 34. Oh, it's just tough. It's tough, dude. It's really tough. It's a tough decision here. Like, I could send him one right now. There's... Just to like test the waters, you know? Let's try it. We'll just send him one right now. Send him one right now. Just to see what happens. Just to see what happens. I'm curious to see how, how he goes for the defend here. What his um, approach is. He's going to go for the insta stall as expected. Now what? Ray of Doom immediately. And we'll see how this handles. This is just a really unfortunate matchup, dude. 
I think I just start my all out here. I, I don't think I have another play, bro. Like I said, the longer this goes, the worse off we are. So I'm just going to start it. We're just going to start it. You don't want to ever really send your groups. Oh my God, sir. There's no point because the Ray of Doom has infinite pierce. So I guess good luck. Have fun. <laughs> Bro, I don't know, man. Let's go ahead and balloon boost that one. If it comes out onto the screen. There's a chance this works, but it's unlikely. Yeah, he already has three Ray of Dooms and all his BIA is still up. All right. I mean, I have enough money to defend a counter or at least stall the counter, right? I have enough money to stall the counter, which is more important than defending it. So I need to float behind a little bit of cash still. These are getting kind of far. I believe he has two boosts or one boost. I think he has just one boost left, actually. Pretty confident he only has one boost. Okay, he's struggling way more than I thought he would. But he still has all his farms. I think he's under, or I think he's overestimating. I don't know. It's hard to say. Okay, now he's starting to sell them all. Now he's starting to sell them all. But yeah, we have to commit to the rush here. There's there's no other play. Like, I just have to commit to it now and just send it. I think he's going to, I think, I don't know. It's so hard to say if he's going to defend this or not. I want him to counter. He's actually countering. He doesn't trust himself. Our instant Sabo. Let's get up an ice shards here. Holy. I did not expect to counter here. Things are getting juicy now. Things are getting juicy now. Okay. Well, let's see how we do here. Let's see how much he actually sends me as well. Uh, can I send him another one or do I need to actually defend this? I think I go for the defend. He might die, bro. I don't know if this man's defense or not, bro. Ah, it's looking like death on his side, but it could just be screen lag, which I think it is. Okay, I'm low on cash, strapped for cash right now. But... Yeah, he defended. He's defending. Unlucky. I mean, I think I can defend this too, but... Yeah, a bit unlucky here, boys. Oh, he's boosting! He just used his last boost. And he only has two BIAs left. I have all my boost. Do I need to use one here? I likely need to use, cycle my boost here. Like, I'm not going to get another chance to use them, right? Hey, he defended, didn't he? He defends. I need to send him, like, two more or something. All right, we can triple spike this. That should help us out quite a bit. Is he defending, bro? I don't know. I think he's dead. Call me crazy. I think he dies. Look, he's targeting the bot. No way. How did you defend that? Oh my gosh. I have to boost again. Dude, this is a weird game. <laughs> Actually, though, what is this game, bro? What is this game? I don't know if I have a set. He's trying to farm again. I have to use all my boost though, right? Any more ice shards, I think, don't I? Um, ice stall. He's going for facilities. He he can sell all those ray of dooms for so much money, dude, and just convert them to farms now. And just sabble that. Do I have to use my last boost here? Probably. Oh yeah yeah. The reason I'm not going bloom liquefier side of things is because I think that makes my ice shards just worse. Is that right or not? that's logical i guess my only pull play here is to just outstall him but like i think i just i don't even think i can defend this now can i can i i think i'm just too oh wait it's round 40 that buffs my shards a lot but like i think it's too late i think it's too late man might be too late um i'm just gonna try but I, it's what else can i do here man What else can I do here, bro? Nothing. Yeah, that's game. We just, we can't defend that. Unlucky. Unlucky matchup. Like, this is just a 90-10 matchup is all it is. We almost had it. It's just a 90-10 matchup. GG's. Remember to subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next one. Unlucky. Bye.